welcome to another tutorial and in this video I will show you how I paint a character in watercolor actually I can use different mediums in painting like acrylics and gouache but watercolor has always been my favorite since I was a kid as you can see I used a yellow orange color for the base layer in watercoloring we always use layering techniques but in this video I just apply a little amount of water as possible to save more time in drying the layers. By the time that the base layer is already dried, I gradually add darker colors to achieve the realistic look that I want. But if you are a bit afraid of applying dark colors, then you can always have some water to soften the edges or to somehow control the saturation. And that is one good thing about watercolor paints. I mean, they are very easy to use, very easy to blend and reactivate, right? of the clownfish I use ivory black color and of course I used a pointed brush like this one from Sakura I forgot the size though but I always use this to make details when I am painting honestly my hand is still shaky when making details like this maybe because I don't paint anymore like I used to be I mean when I was younger I do paint a lot like every day and that is why it helps a lot when the artist works every day as frequently as possible in order to maintain the skill. So use it or you'll lose it. darkening the edges I used burnt sienna sometimes I use red brown in this part and we can see now that the fish is slowly coming to life <music> For the background, I sketch again to make the coral reef and the process is still the same when I was painting the clownfish. I mean, I sketch to make good composition, paint layer by layer from light to dark, then finalizing with small details. a bit tricky part for adding background with more color because these paints are known to be very transparent no wonder they use gouache for very detailed paintings instead so what i did is that I find some ways to somehow emphasize or highlight the subject against the background. For example, I use darker colors because this is a coral reef painting. I use darker colors in the background so that the clownfish or the objects nearer to the person's perspective will stand out. Also, I feel that the black color or any dark color works well for me in making realism well, not just in traditional art, but also in digital, which is something that perhaps I can't live without. Well, I think that really makes sense because in reality, any object will have highlights and shadows when you look at it because of the light source. And 
that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Bye!